right guys, this is the one we're making in the video today. This is the my first one, but look how this turned out. It is adorable. There's a little pocket in the back, and then you have your card slots. Love, love, love. So go get the pattern and let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. I'm getting ready to do my second version of the Simple Wallet Raw Edge. So there is going to be um, two videos for this. This is my first one. And this is just very simple. It's got the um, overlay to it that goes all the way around with the accordion card slots very nice. So you'll see in that first video, I talk about all the um, har the supplies and everything that goes with it. I will talk about those as we go through and I show you each pattern piece, um, but this is what we're making. Get ready because when this pattern releases, which it should be by the time you see this, you're going to want to make a ton of them. Very simple to make, so let's get started. So I'm going to first show you all the pieces. So this is the lining piece and it is self-adhesive. This is a wallet card, uh, cardstock card slot lining from Simply Classic. There are a variety of places that sell it. I will put those in the description below. So this is just self-adhesive and it's, it's just so helpful to have this. So that's this, the lining piece. This is the outside piece that I'm using and I've already cut it to size, but in the pattern she gives you templates to be able to cut this very nicely. And cutting it, I recommend you cut all the straight edges as you cut it and then do your little curves on the, on the corners. It, you just get a better result. Okay, so this is my outside fabric. It is a faux suede by Sew Yours. And then this piece, is called the brand name is selpa i got it from the bag making academy um but there again are a variety of places you can get it i got it in an 18 inch roll and then i just cut I, this one i cut by hand i have not yet tried to cut it on my scan and cut because i'm waiting i need to get a new blade for it so um but then you use what's called heat and bond let me show you the heat and bond that is um, obviously heat, you heat it up and then it bonds to whatever. This is what it looks like, it comes on a huge roll. This is like massive, I don't even know how much there is, but there's tons. Um, so you put it first on your outside piece, you adhere it to the outside piece, the sticky side uh, on the back. This salpa isn't on there yet. And then when it cools, you take the paper off, attach your selpa, and then um, heat it again, and it sticks, the, and put the selpa on, and it sticks like crazy. There's, It's permanent. There's no, this isn't coming off, okay? So that's the lining piece. This is the outside piece. Um, today, I am doing just a small, um, decorative piece on the front where I'm going to put my name tag. I'm going to put my name tag here. So that piece is in the pattern. I cut this one out on my scan and cut. And then in the back here, so this is this piece right here. And this is cork. I wouldn't recommend using cork for the whole pattern because on these edges here, it um, creases and it doesn't look good even if you have really good cork, which I do, and Anne, the designer, has tried it multiple ways with cork and it just doesn't work. So she's taking cork as an option out of the pattern and I wouldn't use it. However, if we're just gonna use this, this stops at the crease and so it's fine. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. Kind of wild and crazy, black and leopard. Mm -hmm. And then in the back, there is, I am putting up, there's an option in the pattern to put a little flap on the back. So on the back of it, I am putting this little flap that you can put coins or a house key or whatever. So it's gonna go like that. It's gonna go on the back. Cute, 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 cute. 
Um, and then you need the accordion. Now, I will say that the accordions, this was, um, I got this from Ginger at Lux um, Hardware. I am going to be selling these, so um, eventually, probably in the next six weeks, I'll, be, I'll have plenty of these in black. This is all she had, so I just am going to use the brown. It's fine, but that's what it looks like. Um, and I've never used one of these. I've never used Selpa before. All extremely easy to do. Okay, so very little sewing in this pattern. I am going to use another uh, Ribbit Magnetic Snap to close it. I just think it gives it a good secure uh, feeling for a little wallop. I personally like it. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my tag, my metal tag. I don't know how this is gonna come out because um, I don't know. I'm just gonna do it and we'll see if it works well or not. This is kind of sticky on the back because I did it on my scan and cut. Okay. So you want it right side up, and I'll show you here in a second. So just like that, because where this is going to go, it's going to go on this flap just like this. So you want this right side up. And, and this is not perfect for some reason. There we go. So I'm gonna add that, and then I am going to edge paint this first. And you notice I'm not putting any um, stabilizer there. So I am gonna edge paint this first before I put it on because otherwise it'll be really hard to get on. So I'll do that first. So you guys are gonna laugh, but for these tiny edges, I am just using a Sharpie. I know it's kind of crazy, but it works and it's permanent. You do just need to be very careful that you're not getting it on the front. I will probably in subsequent ones that I do, um, use edge paint for this. But since this is only my second one, these are really testers. Although the first one is perfect, so I don't know about perfect, but you know, nothing's ever perfect. So I'm also doing it with the back towards me, I find I have better control not getting it on the front, you know? So you don't want any Sharpie on the front. You won't be able to get it off. I mean, you could try, but it probably wouldn't go well. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do this little guy. I'll do that on fast forward. So one of the next steps is I put my tag on there, put my tag and I um, edge painted all three of these pieces with a Sharpie. That's all there is. So easy. If you have a seam roller, we want to train these folds. So it doesn't take much. But those, this is where the wallet's gonna be folded when it's all done. So just go over it, you know, with a little bit of force. And if you don't have a seam roller, just use your hand. That's fine. Because this is how it's gonna end up being 
just like that. Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait. Now I am gonna put this on first and I just put some double-sided tape on here and I covered my um, tag metal with a piece of fleece. So this is where I'm gonna put a piece, I'm gonna center this real quick so I make sure I get it in the center. So I am just going to add this and I'm just looking to see if I have equal parts on each side. I'm not sure what you can see. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Then I have another piece of double side tape and I'm just going to fold this down over. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Now I'm just gonna stitch around that. Oh my guys. You want, these are, these are gonna be addictive. I, I am just here to tell you, once you do your first or second one, and you get the hang of it and you get all your supplies in, you're going to go crazy. These are going to make such great Christmas gifts. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge. Actually, don't go, don't stitch this raw edge down here. It's not a raw edge because I folded it over. Because when we put the wallet together, we're going to stitch there, and you don't want double stitching. So I'm just going to start about an eighth of an inch in, up, over, and down. I made that mistake last time. And I am going to pull these to the back. those to the back it just gives it a nice clean look you don't have to you could back stitch if you chose to but there's so little stitching on this wallet I'd highly recommend that you take the time to pull these to the back you'll be happier And then burn those threads. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Perfect. Next. So the next step is to put your um, little pocket on the back. So this is not the back on the bottom. Remember, this is how it's going to go. This is the back. So I put double side tape around here. And then I'm also adding the female portion of my snap. Now I'm using 18 millimeter snaps. I would highly, if you have them, use 14. I don't have them. Um, but then I'm putting a piece of Decaville heavy there to give that a little more stability. Just like that. And I'll go press that. And while I'm at it, I'll just put this uh, nail portion here. Okay. 
And I had another tiny piece of Decabelle Heavy. I don't know where it went. I'll just make another one. You don't want the Decaville Heavy showing on this, uh, on the outside of your snap, so you just make them really small. And I would definitely do this step because <laughs> snaps get a lot of work, you know, and you don't want them coming loose. Now I'm thinking before I put this on, I'm going to do a row of faux stitching. Um, not here. I'm going to do a faux stitching here. And actually, let me think about this. All right. As I was doing this, I decided I didn't like the raw edge on the back. So I'm just putting a piece of that self-adhesive lining on the back there. It's very thin. You won't hardly even be able to tell. And I'll just trim it up once I have it on there. And the nice thing about this, if you don't get it on there right, you can move it around. That's one thing I really like about this. And it's going to be on the inside, so you really can't see it. So now I'm just going to trim that so you can't see it. Yeah, much better. And I, and I took off my snap so that the snap will go through both of these much better. <clears throat> and I talk about this in the first video is um, make sure that when you're using scissors on leather and that kind of thing that you're not crowning that you keep your You keep your scissors at a 90 degree angle instead of at a angle like that. Always at a 90 degree. You'll get a better result and you'll be much happier. Okay. So, let me grab my email. And I'm just making sure I can't see that. I think I can over here, so let me trim that off. Perfect. Okay, I'll go press that, but I'm gonna repeat that with the top portion too. Um, this, I'm telling you, this lining is so nice to have. Let me get it on the front here. Perfect. Okay, let me trim it. No, I need a gray barb. I'm just reminding myself straight up and down because our instinct is to do it on a like this so we can see what we're doing. Resist that. You'll be happier. I have to remind myself every time. Okay. 
Oh, that is going to be so much better. And we're sewing it on, so it's going to stay there. All right, so this goes on the inside. And then I'll have a little button on the outside. Oh, but before I do that, you know what? I'm going to sew around like I was going to do before I start. I'm going to sew around these three edges mm -hmm. so that I have a nice little... Faux stitching. And I'm going to back stitch there. You probably could pull those to the back. That'd be better. So there we have just some faux stitching. You probably can't even see it hardly. And now I'm going to put this on with my button. Perfect. Now this one, I did not do the faux stitching on this edge. I'm going to try and do it because I already put that on there. Let's see how we do. I got my zipper foot on, so I should be okay. Just go slow. No problem. Good old zipper foot. Yeah, I don't like how that turned out right there, so I'm going to take it out and redo it. Hold on. All right, so I got that top stitch. I didn't like how it turned out. It went the first time, so I just took it out and redid it. And the nice thing is you can do that with cork because you really, it's pretty self-healing. And then I also did it on this piece, these three edges. And then I put my snaps on. So now this one, I did put some eighth inch double-sided tape on the three edges that I'm going to sew on. So I can get this on nice and even. And this little back pocket is optional. Uh, this piece is optional. There's a lot of options. So you do you. So here's my bottom crease and here's my top. So this is what it's going to look like. So this pocket goes right here centered and I'm just going to eyeball it. Oh my gosh, it's going to be perfect. Now keep in mind, you still have to put this on. So you want to put it down far enough. Yeah, okay. So that's what I have so far, and now I'm gonna do these three edges. So cute. And I have, I am doing the stitch length of three.
Now I did back stitch there because I, it's going to be used to get in and out. So I wanted to do a little extra um, stitching there. I'm using black. You can't even see it. So it's not a big pocket, just maybe for a few coins or a key or something like that. And then I'm gonna put this on and just make sure I have it nice and even. And I'm also gonna put a piece of double-sided tape so it doesn't move on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm using eighth inch here, not quarter inch. This is so cute, and so cute. All right, so I'm gonna clip it, and then I'll get it where I want it, nice and even. Perfect. And then I'll stitch that down. Um, I'm just thinking how she did this, just a second. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so cute. I know I'm singing. I'm singing. Very excited. There you go. I would definitely um, use a 14 millimeter snap if you have it. It's not a big deal, but it, I think it would be better myself. But there it is. Isn't that cute? Oh, gosh. Clean up your little threads if you have any. Okay. Yeah. All right, next step. All right, I'm taking the easy way out on this edge paint. I'm just gonna, on the self aside, the raw self aside, I'm just using my Sharpie. And you just need about a quarter of an inch to cover the selpa so you don't see that raw leather. You know, sulfa is just raw leather pressed together. And so it really absorbs the edge paint very well. I will show you, in my pre first video, I did edge paint this. So, um, and I showed you which edge paint that I think works the best. Giardini works fine, except you'll just have to do several coats. So just keep that in mind. So I used um, some other edge paint. You'll see it in that video. This is just as easy. Most of this is covered with your lining, so it you know doesn't have to be anything fancy. So if you don't have any edge painting, just get a Sharpie out. Be very careful though with your Sharpie because if you have light fabric on the outside, I have black. You want to be careful not to get it on the front. So I'm going to do the sides here in a second. And you'll see. How careful I am. All right. So let's do the sides. Now, I've got black for the front, so I don't have to be as careful. And leather people are probably cringing watching me use a Sharpie. <laughs> and on subsequent ones, I won't. I'll use edge paint. But these two are testers. And so, I did use edge paint on the first one. Okay. 
But honestly, if you're not a leather person and or you don't have any edge paint, which I know a lot of bag makers have edge paint, use a Sharpie. Works perfect. I don't know why I have my pinky out. Isn't that funny? Okay. We're almost done. key here is you just don't want to see the raw edge selfie, selfie. Now, if you want to leave it raw, leave it raw. I wouldn't, but you could. Okay, I'm just going back over that. Make sure I got it good. Let me turn this light on. Perfect. The other thing about using a Sharpie, it dries, you know, like immediately. So you don't have to wait for the edge paint to dry. All right. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now I'm going to put my snaps on here. Um, let me decide where I'm going to put them. All right. The next step is not the snap. It's putting your lining on. And again, this self-adhesive lining is very thin and it's very forgiving. You can, if you don't get it on the way you want it, it'll lift up. But just put on put it on a little at a time. And we'll trim it. I had to trim my first one. I, I didn't cut it out perfectly, so not a big deal. But you see how easy that comes up? And then you can just smooth that out. Mm, it's perfect. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna just trim that. Again, Barb, I am gonna use my 90 degrees knot at an angle. And you definitely could use a rotary cutter here. I don't have hardly anything to trim, so. I think I have a little up here. Not really. Oh, right here. What's 
that's it. Maybe a scotch right there. How's that for a sewing technical term? Beautiful. Now, if you need to go over any part of it again with your Sharpie, I would do that. Like I can see myself right there and here. So I, it's where I trimmed. I'm just going over that again. Perfect. All right. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a little dot here where I put my center. I'm just getting that off of there. Perfect. Oh my gosh. So this is what we have so far. Look at that. All right, now let me get the next step ready. So I need to decide where I'm putting my outside snap. And so I just folded it so that it's nice and even. And um, where I punch my hole in my flap, I just put my marker down through there and that's where it'll end up being. I am probably gonna go up just a hair from that. Not much, but just a little. And I'm gonna have to cut it on my uh, grommet puncher, so hold on. All right, so I have my <clears throat> holes punch. So let me go just press that one. I'm right here behind. And this is what we have. See how even that is? Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Okay, now we're gonna put our accordion on. So um, on the accordion, and this is a dark brown one, that's all I have, that's another reason this is a tester. Um, I don't have any black yet. They're coming. So here's the top of the wallet, just like that. And on the inside is where I put my little pieces of double side tape. Um, there's four, I'll show you here in a second. Very sticky tape. I don't want any tape hanging over the edge. Okay. And then where your crease is here, you're gonna measure down um, what she tells you to in the pattern. And just put it really dark and make a tiny little mark that will you can remove on both sides. Okay. 
And the same thing from this edge. You can even barely see it, my marks. So then with the top of your accordion wallet, I'm gonna move this up now. Take your double-sided tape off one side that's on the inside, and we're gonna add that at that mark just barely on the inside of the wallet. So about a sixteenth of an inch in from that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And if you need to, Clip it until you can get um, the other side on and top stitched. Okay, so now we have that on this side, just like that. Here's the opening to our card slots. Now we're going to take this side and add it to the other side of the wallet. Okay, and there's a mark there. Again, just an eighteenth of an, or a sixteenth of an inch to the inside. You don't want to overdo that because you want to be able to sh for sure catch it when you do your top stitching. Okay, so just like that and we're going to repeat that on this side. This is so, oh gosh. This is only my second one and I've already got plans for many more. The key is you just don't want that wallet hanging out on the outside so you don't you don't want to see it. I need one more clip. Okay. So, that's what you have. Now, when we get that all sewn, that'll fold right in there. But do you see that? So then you open it, and there it is. So cute. Now, if you have a cylinder arm, I would highly recommend you do the top stitching on your cylinder arm, which I, I am gonna go do. If you don't, well, you know what? I said I would do it here, so I think I, I will. I'll do it here. I'm going to start down here. And I want to do it um, from the outside. Yeah, let me make sure I have enough bobbin. Hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah. Really, there's really very little sewing <laughs> to this pattern. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I said I would do it. So we're going to just go slow. We're going to start down here. And I'm going to increase my stitch length just a little.
want to make sure it's staying flat. Okay, I was just checking to make sure I got it. Oh, this didn't get caught right there. Hmm, okay, I'll have to fix that. Push your accordion in. spot again but that's okay yeah right there actually a couple spots come on yeah much easier to do on your um, cylinder so that didn't get caught there so I'm just gonna go back over that just right there. Okay, then this side is fine. This one I need to fix too. Absolutely okay. sticky up. Not like part of it. Alright, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, pretty good. I will. I did that really just to show you. If you have issues, just go over it again or take it out and redo it. It depends on your fabrics if that's feasible for you to take it out and redo it. These two would have been fine to do that. These two fabrics. I'm just burning my edges there. And just take your time to do a little cleanup. You know, the black on black is like, goodness gracious. It's hard to see. Oh my God. 
gosh, that's so cute. All right, I think I'm in. Let's see. Oh my gosh. All right, let me turn you around. Here it is. The Simple Wallet Raw Edge by Simple Artful Stuff. Anne is the designer. This is so cute. So this is my second one. This was my first one. This one's better. There's nothing wrong with the first one, but I like the design of this better, and I like the little pocket on the back. You know, put a house key, you know, a couple quarters or whatever you want to use it for. Business cards, you could put business cards in there. Um, but then you open this up and you have all your card slots. And you can fit more than one in each one too. This one, this particular wall one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve slots. Then your money goes right underneath there. It's a beautiful thing. Now, do we carry much cash anymore? Hardly none. There it is. I love this one. I'm gonna go cut out, I'm gonna go cut out about four. I have two more accordions. So I think I'll just go ahead and cut those out. And make those because it's going to be a while before I get the black in, I think. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Simple wallet raw edge. Now, it is a simple wallet to make. It uses the selfa or the leather stabilizer underneath here that you may not have used before. It does use adhesive wallet lining, which you may not have used before. Both are very easy to use. It uses Heat and Bond Ultra. I've never used it before, these wallets. Easy to use. Um, and then the accordion wallets. Easy to use. So there's very little stitching. Um, there's more stitching on this version because I did the back wallet. Um, so this is cork, this uh, leopard is cork, and then the little wallet is cork. I did go ahead and order some 14 millimeter snaps. I think that would be better for this wallet, only because it's small, it's not big. But there's the raw edge, and if you need to go back over, if you did uh, edge painting, but you see some areas where you just need to, and that was it. One little spot. Use your Sharpie and go back over it. So here's two versions. This one uses the diamond accent. So there, and it goes all the way around. And you open it up and you have the same thing. This one uses a little accent piece just on the front because I wanted to put the little uh, card pocket on the back. So cute. Thank you, Anne, for allowing me to do this video. Um, these are two. Somebody's going to be lucky and get these two. Um, and... I'm going to be making a bunch more for Christmas. I can't wait. So thanks for watching. Be sure to go get the pattern. Um, and um, I'll link all the descriptions in the, or the links in the description below for where you get all the supplies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.